Daniel chapter 6. It pleased Darius to set over the kingdom a hundred and twenty princes, which should be over the whole kingdom, and over these three presidents, of whom Daniel was first, that the princes might give account unto them, that the king should have no damage. Then this Daniel was preferred above the presidents and princes, because an excellent spirit was in him, and the king thought to set him over the whole realm. Then the presidents and princes sought to find an occasion against Daniel concerning the kingdom, but they could find no occasion or fault, for as much as he was faithful, neither was any error or fault found in him. Then said these men, We shall not find any occasion against this Daniel, except we find it against him concerning the law of his God. Then these men assembled unto the king and said, O oh, King Darius, live forever. All the presidents of the kingdom, the governors, the princes, the counselors, and the captains, have consulted together to establish a royal statute and to make a firm decree that whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man within thirty days save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions. Now, O king, establish the writing and sign the decree that it be not changed according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. Wherefore, King Darius signed the writing, even the decree. Now, when Daniel knew that the writing was signed, he went into his house, and his windows being opened in his chamber towards Jerusalem, he kneeled upon his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he did before time. Well, then these men assembled and found Daniel Daniel praying and making supplication unto his God. Then these men assembled unto the king and spake unto the king concerning his decree. Hast thou not signed a decree? That whosoever shall ask a petition of any god or man within thirty days save of thee, O king, he shall be cast into the den of lions? The king answered and said, The thing is true according to the law of the Medes and Persians, which altereth not. Then answered they and said unto the king, That Daniel, which is of the captivity of Judah, regardeth not thee, O king, nor the decree which thou hast signed, but maketh his petition three times a day. Then the king, when he heard these words, was sore displeased with himself, and he set his heart on Daniel to deliver him, and he labored till the going down of the sun to deliver him. Well, then said these men unto the king, Know, O king, that the law of the Medes and Persians is, that no decree nor statute which the king establishes may be changed. And the king commanded, and they brought Daniel, and cast him into the den of lions. And the king spake and said, Thy God, whom thou servest continually, may he deliver thee. And a stone was brought and laid upon the mouth of the den, and the king sealed it with his own signet, and with the signet of his lords, that the purpose might not be changed concerning Daniel. Then the king went to his palace and passed the night fasting. Neither were instruments of music brought before him, and his sleep went from him. Then the king arose very early in the morning, and went in haste unto the den of lions. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice, and the king spake and said, O Daniel, servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lions? Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. My God has sent his angel and has shut the lions' mouths that they have not hurt me. For as much as before him innocency was found in me, O king, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. Then the king was exceedingly glad for Daniel and commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no manner of hurt was found upon him because he believed in his God. Then the king commanded and he brought those men which had accused Daniel and he cast them into the den of lions. Them and their children and their wives and the lions had the mastery of them and break all their bones in pieces or wherever they came at the bottom of the den. And then King Darius wrote unto all peoples, nations and languages that dwell in all the earth. Peace be multiplied unto you. I make a decree that in every dominion of my kingdom, men tremble and fear before the God of Daniel, for he is the living God and steadfast forever. His kingdom shall not be destroyed. His dominion shall be even unto the end. He delivereth and rescueth. He worketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth, which hath delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian.